Hello everyone, this week I'm going to share with you a software that's called BAMSpot. I came across with this software and it, it, I found it really interesting I wanted to share with you. It's an excellent tool in order to get data management, information requirements and information fulfillment and there are many other features as well. By the way, I would like to make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by BIM Spot, so it's solely our interest to provide you a software that, can, that you can benefit of. If you go in the link in the description below, you can get a free account for a time being. So don't miss and try out the software and keep watching in order to understand how you can really benefit out of this software. How many of us really and truly start with information requirements and build their design from the information data set? Most of us jump right away into the conceptual design when we actually have the brief. But instead, nowadays it's very popular if we start designs with the information-driven workflow. BIMSpot allows you to do that. If you go to the information requirements, you will be able to see from here what kind of information requirements you need at what point in the project. So you'll be able to define the pre-designed architecture um, nominal length only, but in the design, the slope and the load bearing and the permission planning, you have all these data. So you can check against the data, against the model, the delivered data, rather than only visual checks, which we most of the time we do in BIM, we do clash detection and so forth, but we are not really focusing on if the data there is there, and if the data is really according to the brief. That's extremely important. With the BIM spot, the good thing is that after you set the requirements, you can actually set, you can also upload the model IFCs and you can manage your model. So there's a test project from their end. You can go to the required fulfillment and from here you can see what can, if we are fulfilling the project. So if the all the deliverables from the mechanical MEP basically is delivered, so it's 100% delivered from the architectural, so they did not deliver wall standard case and slabs, so we know that they are on 40 and 55%. And from the engineer, we do have a lot of stuff that is not being sent yet. It's really great. I mean, we know that how much work has to be done still, what input is required without really and truly checking them ourselves or like manual checks. It's just automated. And the greatest things of all, is a KPI dashboard. I love it. Here you can see against the brief. So the window area is 75% is over the current goal. So we have more windows than we have to. And because we can really set the design scope with a net room volume, window area, the public area as well, we can include some costs if we want. You can add as much as KPIs as you want. It's as simple as that. You just need to go within the safe filter. You need to say, what do you want? For example, you say architectural rooms. You want the sum, the average, whatever you want. And you want to say, all right, so energy loss. The, uh, the, should the goal is, let's say, 500. And the plus and minus is 10%, I would say. And the, and the energy uh, loss for arc. And then if I click over here, I will be able to see that there is no data provided for this kind of thing. So that's why I have zero. But if I have something more legitimate, so I would have, for example, uh, structural load bearing tanks, and I would say good length and the volume is, um, I will have 500 and I will have this one 10% again. I will have 10% again, I will say, test two, I'll just do. And then here, I will now start getting some results. You see now I'm my, my lengths are over 200%, uh, over 100%, which is, I have to have maximum 100%, but I'm 202% and I'm over the limit. So you can actually filter, compare your design against the brief. And you cannot imagine how powerful this is. You don't have to, you can also visualize it. You can do clash checks here. And it's absolutely for free at the moment. So please just hit the link below, test out yourself. You will love it. Please note that this video is not sponsored by BIMSpot. We started using this software and we loved it. 
and we wanted to share with our audience so you can also get the benefit and it's absolutely for free you have nothing to lose at this point point. and I hear some I did some model check and clash detection just before the video is like five minutes before the video recording and here you can download the zips uh, of the, the check the competencies and you will be able to open them up as a zip file and you can open them as a PDF I will be just pulling them in a second over here you can see you know like root checks and slabs and then you can see the final results basically um, what happens and I will also show you now the clash report it gives us the basic information here I wouldn't say it is the best of best for the clash section and model check but it's for free so why not to use it uh, you can also get the BCF file which is amazing thank to get back to the to the input in the I have several other open BIM workflow I don't think this is the best model check and the clash detection but if you think about the information driven design they really nail it they really go into the detail and we can really do a lot of stuff and you can really monitor whether you are getting the right data so many of you is familiar with this diagram right so we have a graphical model non-graphical data and documentation what we focus mostly in the graphical and documentation data but there is a lot of non-graphical data which is hard to monitor manually therefore this kind of automation drives the process is extremely smoothly and you can get a lot of benefit by automating the stuff try it out see if it works please comment below if the software was at all a use for you if it wasn't a use also comment it so we can debate and discuss to in order to bring more value and share experiences together and don't forget to like if, this, if you like this kind of videos and subscribe to our channel so you're notified as soon as we publish new videos don't forget to turn your notification bell on see you next time